This is a Nintendo 64 controller. 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 Heck yeah it is. This is the Ultra Racer 64. What is up YouTube? N64 fun time coming back at you today. And we are talking about this thing, the Ultra Racer 64. Now you may look at this thing and be like, what is that? That's not a controller. Where's the port? Plugged in. Yeah, it is. Look at that bad boy. N64. Woo! Anyway, you may wonder what this is. Is it a buzzer for a game show? Meep, meep, meep. Nope. This is basically, as you can see in the name, for racing games. Um, now, if you guys are familiar with RC or radio controlled uh, stuff, uh, like boats or cars or whatever it is, um, you'll know that the, the uh, remotes are, are weird. They have, a lot of them with the professional models, they'll have like a steering wheel sort of thing and then a trigger. And that is exactly what this is designed for. This is for uh, maybe the people that like that sort of thing or uh, you know, like the twitchy stuff, this is what this is made for. So if I turn it on the side here, you'll see that this is actually a wheel. It's got a really nice kind of soft grip on it, um, and it's very snappy back and forth, and you can actually very easily manipulate this, and it's, it's kind of a cool thing. If I turn it around in the profile, you'll see it actually has a trigger, and there's actually two buttons in here where you have one uh, pull, pulling forward and then backwards and you can actually fit your finger and this is really kind of nice rubber so it actually grips your finger really really well while you're in here it's got your slot uh, for your your jumper pack and your rumble pack um, and then it's got a few face buttons here obviously your a and b sort of thing um, since this is only back and forth when you're at your menus you actually have little rubber buttons down here and these are your up down left right to kind of move along in your thing you have your c buttons here so essentially all the buttons are here um, you have your l your r your z and like i said these also act as your a and b's and if you're not satisfied with the amount of buttons there's an extra button that actually says extra so you get an extra button with this controller why would you not want this thing your start button and then this is a program button so you can actually set any button you want on this controller to a different button style layout which is actually really cool um, now if you go down here oop, turn it around um, this acts as your um, uh, your A and your B when you're going back and forth with it like this um, and then you can switch that on and off if you want and then for racing games that will use the Z button instead of the A and B, which most of them would use the A and B. Some of them didn't necessarily do that. That's where your uh, programmer comes in and you can program this to do what you want. So I get the purpose of this controller. Um, people who are super into racing games, I know um, Ridge Racer games kind of used a similar controller like this on like the PlayStation. Um, and this style of controller actually showed up on many different systems. So it wasn't just the Nintendo 64 that got this stupid looking thing. It was other consoles actually got this wheel style thing. And I think it was really catering to that RC style crowd or the racing fan crowd um, who wanted that style of gameplay and not necessarily like the steering wheel and gas pedal that you could get. So this is kind of a, a specialty sort of thing. Does it work? It actually does work. It actually works very well. The, the snappiness of this wheel actually is very effective for racing games. Um, and we're actually going to play with it here a little bit. And you guys can see uh, what the controller's doing and stuff like that. So it's cool. I get it. And it works. Um, so it's pretty interesting. So if you guys have not seen the Ultra Racer 64 and are interested in it, we're going to play with it today. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We are starting out with uh, Cruisin' World. I think this is going to be a really good game to do this with uh, because these Cruisin' series games have that twitchy control back and forth. Um, 
and I think I think this is just really gonna work out well. There's no need to um, go like up and down. Oh, geez, come on. Let's go back. Let's go back. There we go. No, I don't want to save. There we go. We got it now. So it's gonna be really twitchy back and forth, and I think it's gonna be really perfect. Um, I'm actually got, I actually have my cell phone set up, so I'm actually going to be recording my hands as well, so you guys can kind of see that. Um, so I think this is going to be really good. I actually have my rumble pack in to see if this works, uh, so I'm really kind of excited about that. Um, so I think there's actually a lot of cars in this game. Let's try... Yeah, that's, the, uh, that's a Supra, right? Let's just call it that cruise the world. I'll probably just do one race, um, that way you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to hit record on my cell phone and try to get it in the picture here. Okay, so we're going. Alright, I crashed because I was looking down. Now we're going. Trigger feels really good. It's really rubbery and it just feels really good. It feels, you're cru you can crush it down um, and then the uh, Rumble Pack actually works really great in this. It's very, very precise. Holy cow. I'm not moving it very much at all, and I'm turning perfectly. Um, it's really nice. Let's see. I know you can do turbos in this game, right? Yeah. And that's easy. That's just, you know, doing the bottom twice. But it's really, ooh, it's really responsive, but it's really, really sensitive. Um, I don't know if you can turn the sensitivity down or anything like that, but it, it's, it works really well. I have my hand um, kind of wrapped around the controller, and then with my, I'm looking down while I'm trying to raise, uh, with my thumb and my pointer finger, I'm, I'm actually just using a steering wheel, and the kind of foam grip that they have around it actually feels really good. You can get just enough grip to where it doesn't feel awkward, it's not too terribly squishy. Um, but it's just really responsive. I'm just, I'm actually really surprised how well this works. And I really think that a lot of it is just because this is the perfect game to play this style of controller with. Um, but it's, yeah, it's working really well. And the rumble's working fine. I'm really surprised. I would actually be surprised to see how well like a jumper pack works uh, to see if that actually works in this controller and a lot of time I was like looking down and trying to pay pay attention to to this but I'm actually really surprised how well uh, that worked so there you go guys that was the ultra racer 64 the rumble pack worked I haven't tried the jumper pack but I want to try to see if that actually worked the trigger feels great, and the steering was was much better than I thought it would be. Uh, so com to be completely honest with you guys, if you see this for under five dollars, um, you know, or at a store, I got mine for two bucks at a Goodwill. If you honestly find this thing, it might be worth to pick it up. If not, just for the complete oddity of having this, it works. It actually works pretty great. So there you go. That was actually cool. That was actually really cool to, to go and really try this because I never really have. Um, and I think the Cruising USA or any sort of twitchy back and forth style game was going to work really well with this thing. So there you go. That was fun. Another fun controller that we got to check out and dive into a little bit more today. So anyway, feel free to... Uh, Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do a lot of really, really fun stuff there where you guys can participate in my channel. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe down below if you guys want to do that. I always, always appreciate a sub. And there you go. N64 fun time. Be nice. Stay positive. Always be gaming.